Hello, I've been building out a small API to call AI functions from in inside of Houdini and possibly other softwares, but using Houdini as a base for now. Uh, mostly the fusion based functions. I'll just give you a demo of some of some of the features. So we have a text to image sort of model here. Just this is a HDA which allows uh, selecting from various models. You can put any sort of checkpoint you you like here. You can sort of override them. Some it may not work in all scenarios, but most of the common ones should should work. And you have the sort of general sort of common controls like inference steps, C CFG, the guidance scale, and um, negative prompts, uh, positive and negative prompts. And then these are just sort of examples of uh, the different models, so SD3, SD5, and um, Flux, which is quite heavy. It's quite expensive, this one. Quite a lot of VRAM is required. And then we also have um, upscalers as well so you can just upscale and then um, calling this is just a um, stop and put it. You can just sort of add whatever you want here, and there's some um, helpers here for sort of various different types of um, helpful prompts to get different styles. And then this will run like this, and this will go off and call the API. Uh, the API can be running on the, your local machine or it could be running on another machine on the network so potentially a more powerful machine sort of dedicated for inference sort of tasks and when this updates it is just updates live here and there is also other modes so we've got image to image so here I've got like a render that I made in the past and then sort of just scaling this down a little bit so it's a bit easier to work with. And then I can do sort of image refinement on it. So this is just an image refinement here. With different strengths, I can sort of reduce the effect a bit. So if I run that one now, that one should, um, should begin now. I think that's already oh, I think it just ran quite quick. Yeah some of the models run quite fast. So yeah that refiner one does run quite quickly. And then depending on the strength obviously if it's a lot higher it will change more the image see it's good it's changed it completely there because I've, I've put a really high strength and again you can pick various different models here depending on which one what effect you want and then there is basic support for control net so here I've just got this um, sort of stylized uh, rat here and then I'm making an edge detection so using a canny edge detection and then I can pipe that in to the control nets here and I can again select different control nets uh, also again you can also just put a checkpoint here but you'd have to make sure they sort of align with the model you're using or you might you might get weird results 
and um, the same here sort of example this one doesn't have this is disabled diffusion 3.5 I'm sort of using the wrong control net for that one and it sort of gives a quite freaky quite freaky result when it comes back in a second my GPU isn't the greatest it's only a 3080 Ti so I'm sort of a little bit RAM const uh, VRAM constrained so I sort of offload but you see this one sort of looks a bit crazy because it's got um, it's not the correct control net for that so it sort of gives a quite freaky result but this one is sort of interesting that it sort of does does sort of align them but the control nets I haven't really fully explored just more implemented allowing them to be added at the moment you can add up to two but it's quite easy to extend and then here sort of example of like having a sort of crude sort of basic image and then um, refining it with a prompt here do another image image to image and then an in painting so if you if you've got a mask if you have a mask input I've just got a simple shape here then you can um, apply that and then also just chain it again to another just trying to do another refinement sort of thing on here so you can sort of chain them again and again if you want to try and achieve different effects and then also there's image to video so I've got getting loaded and only runs one task at a time okay so it's generated that it's quite a nice detailed image as we can see and yeah I can send that that's another one I sent to runway before but I can send that one again that one is copying the prompt from here so if I update that So it sent it off and then now it will um, retrieve it. Okay, so now it's retrieved it now. So this is the result back from runway here. You see it's quite nice, the smoke's a little bit low detail but you could possibly refine that in a pass here and there is also local video models but I might not show them right now because they are oh, I did have one that I generated earlier but it was quite slow so this was from a previous one with um, cog video so it was just the one here that's generated just a 10, 10 second one I'm not going to show that now because it takes a bit too long to generate and then the final thing is on this image to image there was you can sort of also bake per frame so I've got this thing here which is just a very simple sort of sprite render here and I was just experimenting making some control net masks here canny canny mask outlines and then sticking this in here animated to sort of change over time doesn't look particularly great at the minute but um, you can sort of see that it is affecting it per frame and there is a you can bake per frame 
you can change the storing of things. All the all the paths are sort of stored here. So sort of how it works is any input it will any input that comes in it'll it will write it out again. So any anything it will write temporarily out so you don't have to manage any of that. And then the same for the outputs are all <clears throat> they're all sort of stored and also there is always a anything that's made there'll always be a there'll be a timestamp uh, made for anything that you have made in the past as well so it will sort of cache everything out and then yeah if you want to write something out you just do it the normal the normal way you can write it out again to wh wherever you want but during the running process it will keep track of all the files for you and handle the locations and then yeah future things I want to try is more work on the control nets and I want to try some of the image to geometry options models there's some interesting ones to be able to generate meshes from images and possibly a image to text type node so you can sort of generate descriptions from an input and yeah that's sort of where where I am at the moment